Right, you guys got another video here for you on how to back up files and folders with Acronis True Image 2020. This is their very latest release and I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, back up any sort of file or folder on your drive. So let's open up Acronis True Image uh, 2020 and you can see here we've got Acronis Cloud here. Now I do have the 5 terabyte version and uh, I can upload to the cloud but I'm going to go to the browse area here and I'm just going to choose a location on my system. So I'm going to probably choose my NAS drive. So what I'm going to do is have a look at network here. So you can see here I've got Office NAS. This is uh, where I can back up all my data to. I will need to put in my password and my username for that NAS drive and I'll go ahead and do that right now. So let me just quickly uh, type those in. There we go. Once we do that you can test the connection but by clicking on connect it will test the connection anyway so it's entirely up to you so I'm just going to hit connect here so you can see it's doing the test anyway so we'll let that just uh, go ahead and test the connection and see if we can get connected to my NAS drive from uh, this system here which I'm trying to back up some data to so there we go we are now connected to the NAS drive which means now we can uh, back up whatever we like to the NAS drive from this location. Now you can back up the whole drive and all that sort of stuff, that's other videos, but this one is just about backing up uh, your files and folders on your computer. So let's go ahead and navigate to that. So you can see this is my NAS drive that we're connected to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into uh, my stuff. So if I sign in to my NAS drive here on this computer, what I wanna do here is create a, a new folder here so I can back up to that folder. So this is my NAS drive here which I've logged into. So what I want to do here is go into file station here and create a folder on that drive so I can back up to it. So I've got a bunch of areas here that I can create a backup to. So I'm just going to do it inside here. So I'm going to create a, a folder and I'll call this, uh, let's just see, uh, backup, something like that. You can call it whatever you like here. So I'm just going to call it PC backup. There we go. And uh, I'll put Acronis here so I know it's from Acronis. So there we go. So now I've got this done. What I can do is go back to the Acronis software on my uh, computer and literally pick that location. So I think if I go into my stuff here, it will be in there, but I'm just going to quickly go back and refresh just to make sure that the folder is visible. So all I need to do here is hit the back button and then just reconnect to it. So go browse and then go to network and then go to my office NAS. And from there, I can now click on my stuff. It should have been uh, there, but I'm just making sure. So you can see here, I've got PC backup Acronis. I'm going to select that folder right there. And we're going to click OK. So now we've got the destination uh, set up here. What we need to do is select what we want to back up. So the desktop area here, which will be the name of the desktop. I'm going to click on this one and change the source. And we can now back up the entire PC, disks or partitions, files and folders, mobile devices, and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click on files and folders and what I'm going to do is back up my user profile so you can see here change me is the user profile I want to back up all the data inside there and this will then go over to uh, my NAS drive and this will be because I'm going to format this system so I just want all the user data for that user profile to be backed up so I've got the tick in there and uh, we're pretty much good to go there all I need to do here is select any other stuff that I may want that may be elsewhere on the computer but I know mainly all the stuff is in this user profile which is called change me which yours may be something different so you can see all the ticks are now in the boxes I can click OK and you should now see uh, the source for what we're going to back up is called change me that is the user profile of my account and the PC backup Acronis will be the folder that is going to pretty straightforward and self-explanatory so all I need to do now is start the backup process and that will then go across and start backing up to my NAS drive. It's that simple. Now this will take a bit of time because obviously depending on how much data is being backed up and uh, that will be a bit of a process. So I'm just going to leave that uh, running there. If I go over to uh, my 
main system here and look on the NAS drive you can see it's already started to back up that data across there so we now can see that the data is being backed up and you can get on with whatever you need to do on your computer you don't have to sit there and watch it so if I wanted to back up say for instance my bookmarks I can back up some bookmarks here I can export those and I can export those to wherever I like and then drop them into the backup as well if I want to or just drag them onto my NAS drive manually and these will be all my bookmarks for my web browser and stuff like that and of course all the other stuff will be in the user profile which means everything will back, be backed up and I can then restore whatever I need later on so let's take a look at the progress here you can see it's now starting to back up all of that data and I'll speed this process up there we go so now we've got all this backed up you can see it's already there and we've got the full backup across onto our NAS drive so if I look at this now you can see I've got my bookmarks here and I've also got that backup with all that data in there which I wanted to back up and that's pretty much it that's stored onto my NAS drive and we've got all the backup data from this system so I can then go ahead and reinstall this operating system so I'm going to download the Windows 10 media creation tool and once I've got that downloaded I will create a bootable USB flash drive with the very latest version of Windows 10 on it and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and wipe the system now some people were asking about the restore process so I will make a video showing you how to restore your files from one of those backups that you created maybe from a file or folder backup and I'll make some uh, videos for you so you can see how that's done so let me go ahead and quickly uh, create a bootable USB flash drive because I do want to wipe this system here and get this uh, fresh install done so I've got my flash drive plugged in it's got to be 8 gigabyte or more and then we can go ahead and click next and that will then go ahead and download the Windows 10 ISO and of course uh, build the USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it so we can boot to that and then install Windows 10 freshly on this uh, system so I'm going to let that quickly uh, finish I'll quickly speed this process up there we go that's all completed click finish and this will then close the application down and we can then boot to that USB flash drive and then all we need to do is reinstall Windows pretty straightforward Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Enjoy the sunny weather, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.